What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today for my demonstration on my photo ready measurements form. Here I will show you step by step my photo process with the form and going over the benefits of the form at the end of the demonstration. Hope you like it. So the first thing that I will do when I'm getting ready to start my photography process with my items, and this is something I do every day, is I find my photo ready measurement forms. I usually print them out once a week. I print enough for the whole week and they're just like this. And I count out 10 because I do 10 listings a day. So I've already pre-counted these, but I would count out 10 so that way I know when I'm done with this stack, I'm finished and I leave them here. Then I've already preset 10 items here on my rack so that I have 10 items ready to go. I try to, as I've talked about in prior videos that I've done about my photography process, I try to batch them, all tops, all pants, all skirts, whatever. If I have a bunch of cashmere, I'll do all that together. So that way, as you're listing, it's kind of similar things. It goes a lot faster and a lot easier. First, I will take five items and then I'll have the other five items here. Now, today's items happen to be more heavy sweaters and outerwear, so I'm not going to do all five in my batch because I don't want to put too much pressure on my hook. So I'm just going to do three. But typically, if you just have tops or bottoms, more lightweight things, you can do five and five. So normally I do two five item batches. And I will place everything on my hook. Then I will get my measuring stick. I like to use a yardstick to do my measurements. I don't use a measuring tape anymore. I don't even know where mine is right now. <laughs> so I just use this, it makes things a lot easier. So I will take the appropriate measurements, 17, 31, and I will record my measurements on the first item here. 17, armpit to armpit, 31 length. And I'll place my form right there, kind of all in one foul swoop. So you'll see me get into it. So right now I'm gonna take this one off. That's when I would have written down the measurement, come back, grab my stick again, do the next one. So this is 19, 34, put it back, write it down, place the form. Now these items are being placed in order. So I know if I start over here and I start over here with my measurements forms, everything will match up. So this is the third item, 25, 26, 25, 26. Okay, so three items done. So I would complete that the whole way through. I take the next set of three items, place them on the hook, and then one by one, measure it, return it, write it down, do the next one. And so it's a fluid process, yes, I am wasting some steps because they're so far apart. Maybe if I had my rack over there, it would go a little bit quicker because I would be taking less steps, but that's fine. This setup works for me. So this process of batch doing the measurements and having everything in order literally takes for 10 items, five minutes or less. Like it's so fast when I'm not explaining it. So if you can set up a place where you can have everything photo ready, you can have your measurements forms ready, have your measuring utensils and have your photo set up. You should be able to measure your items in about five minutes for 10 items, let's just say. Then when I'm done doing all the measurements, so I've already, those are not done, I've already measured these. The first one over here is the first form at the top. And so I would have 10 items that are completed and I would have 10 forms and I usually have it like a row of five and then a second row of five because normally when they're not heavier items, I do it in batches of five. So then what I'll do is, so measurements are done. So now I'm gonna do the photos. And so I'll take the first item, put it up, grab my phone, photo, 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 photo. Make 
sure you got all your tags. Flip it. Photo. Okay, so the first item is photographed with all of my shots and all of my tags and everything. So now I know that this form goes with this item. I'll place this form on top of the item and I'll take the measurements photo. That way, everything for this item is all together in a series of photos all together. Now, right now I'm not prepackaging my items, but I know a lot of you do, and I used to, and I highly recommend it. I'm just currently not doing it right now because everything is home. I'm sending some stuff to thread up. I'm bringing things to Style Encore. So my inventory is fluid and I don't want things prepackaged right now, but I will go back to that very soon. So let's say that you were prepackaging the item right now. So you could, I usually do them all, like lay the item, take the photo, lay the item, take the photo, do all of that. And then I take everything off the hanger and put it in here. But what you would wanna do is put the item, package it up, pretend I'm doing this nicely. So pretend that's nice. <laughs> put your thank you card in there, whatever, pretend that's closed, and then snap a photo of the item number that you already maybe have on your bag or you label it at the time of doing this or whatever. I used to like to pre-label my bag. So that way you have item photos, measurements form on the item, photo inventory number of the bag. And so everything for that item is together and you can throw that item in your bin and it's finished. You don't have to touch it again. You don't have to see it again. It's complete. Then you would go to your next item and you would Photograph, 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 pretending now. Again, I lay it down and I find the second form and I take a picture of it on top of the item so that way they get a close up of the form, a close up of, you know, the print, the fabric, they can see the texture, whatever. And then I move that to the side. And again, for me, I would be doing this in batch. So let me just show you what I mean. Photo, 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 put it down. Third item, third form, take the picture. Okay, and I would do all 10. So at the end of my batch, I have 10 items laying here still on the hangers, but all of the measurements forms have been completed. I don't need to take a photo of the bag with the number because I'm not doing that. So I would then batch take everything off of the hanger. Try not to stretch the necks. And then I just do a quick fold. I'm not going crazy about it. I just do a quick fold. And then these are going in my next bin. So I put the items in the bin. And then at the very end of the whole batch of 10 photos, 10 items, I would snap a photo of the bin so I know what bin number all of those items are in. That's how I do it because again, I'm not prepackaging items. If you are a person that prepackages your items with item numbers, the difference for you is that after you take your photo ready measurements form on top of the item, then pack up your item and then take a photo of the item with the number so you know what's going on with that item with item photos, photo ready measurements form photo, and inventory number photo. And then everything is together. And so you wouldn't have to do this last step that I do. And so here is just what it looks like when you have everything completed. So I know that that very first form is the first item, the second item, the and so all of them are laid out. And then I have them over here in order again. So the first item starts here and it moves to the left and they all stay in order. They're all done in batches. And so everything lines up quickly. So when I take this to go and photograph, I'm completed with the photographs. I lay it here. I take the photo here and then I'm done. Now for me, again, I take this off and I just keep stacking items on top and keep working through the pile as I take photographs. If you are doing inventory numbers, then what you're gonna do is 
lay down your item, put your measurement form on the item, take your photo, and then you're going to pack up the item, put it in your bag, and snap a photo of your bag number so that everything for this item is complete. You'll have your item photos in your phone, then you'll have your measurements form photo, and then you'll have your bag photo so you'll know everything that's going on with that item. So the great thing about these forms and why I moved to this system from some of the other forms systems that I've had in the past is that by writing everything down on a photo ready measurement form, you're able to put this form down on the item and snap a photo of it. Now your measurements are included in the photos and you're going to upload those to your photos in your listing. So it's already once measurements in photos. That's clear, nice, easy to read for the person to see. And then you're going to refer to it in your listing with just one simple line that you can copy and paste. What I do, it says measurements in photos. That's it. I don't have to type out or copy and paste and have different templates for armpit to armpit and length, waist across, laying flat, rise, depending on the kind of item. I know if you're a person that has templates, you have a top template, then you have a dress template, then you have a pants template. All of those have different outlines of text for each of the measurements. You don't need that anymore. All you have to do for all of your items is just copy and paste or set up a text replacement or a shortcut that says measurements in photos. Bam, super quick. You don't have to type any of that out. No more mixing up your measurements. No more putting a typo in the measurements. No more any of that. You don't have to worry about any of that. And the great thing is, is that once you have this in your photos, then you're just easily saying measurements and photos in your listing description. The other benefit is that you have so many more characters in your listing description that you didn't have before. Think about how many characters it is for a top. If you're gonna do armpit to armpit and length of a top, that's armpit to armpit. And then you have like the inches thing, or maybe you write out inches plus the two digit number for inches. And then you have length written out. And then the two digit number for that, the whatever quote, and the inches word or the inches word. So that's a lot of characters that you could save by just putting measurements in photos. Same with let's say a dress where you have armpit to armpit, waist, hips, length. If it's long sleeve, some people do, you know, additional measurements, but it's done for you and easy breezy. So the main thing with the benefit of having less characters being used to write out your description for, you know, measurements or not writing out the description is that you have all these extra characters where you can add more flowery language, add a nice buyer confidence line. I have videos on how I do my buyer confidence line and why that's important. I have videos on additional keywords and I have an entire keywords list that can help you where you can add more relevant, appropriate keywords so that your listing can, found, can be found in more and more searches. So I feel like using the photo ready measurements form is actually a twofold benefit. One, saving you time in kind of setting up a batch process for your photography. Two, maybe there's three. <laughs> Two, saving you time where you're actually typing out your listing. And then three, allowing you the ability to include more keywords in your listing because you've saved on characters. So those are all the three benefits of using my photo ready measurement form. You can certainly make it yourself. Absolutely. But there are lots of people that are not tech savvy, that don't want to, that don't have time, and that just want to buy mine. Or they want to say, hey, thanks for the tip. Thanks for the content. I'll be more than happy to buy your little form. <laughs> so they are available in a bundle on my Etsy shop. All of that is linked down below in the description. I hope you will check it out.